out and uh, you do, uh, TJ, you do training for post. I saw you do some firearms instruction. Yeah, I do. I'm not a post certified instructor. I don't do that. Uh, but I do a lot of I do a lot of training. I get trained. I'm a, I'm a perpetual student, and I also do training for others. All right, because one of our guys, uh, one of my instructors who teaches, I've got two parts of the company. One is the body armor, the other is the tactical side. Uh, yeah. Nick Leminger, he's a uh, he's teaching our combatus courses in the post program, and he's out in uh, where's he? St. Louis, Wentzville. Area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yep. So, um, yeah, that's cool. So, uh, yeah. Have, yeah, because we're going to be doing, uh, we're actually building a combatives room right now at Tactical Shit. Uh, and so it'd be, you know, kind of a jujitsu, giant fl padded floor, padded walls, life size jujitsu dummies hanging from the ceiling, ready to get beat on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how I kind of got into this stuff. Um, way back when and i started doing the combatives uh in 89 and uh i don't know if you heard of a guy by the name of carl sestari um uh, -uh. uh he was yeah he, he was kind of like the grandfather of uh combatives and one of my buddies um who's on the swat team in bergen county here we were training in you know karate and yeah i wrestled and played football in college and uh <laughs> I was always into like martial arts and stuff like that. So, you know, the stuff I was learning was cool, but it wasn't like, I don't know, you know how it is. Nobody was grabbing, yeah. your, nobody's grabbing your wrist. Right. Yeah. It was, it wasn't in real life street fight. Right. So I went down to there. Like, uh, he's like, come on. He's like, come with me. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. And uh, they're in the basement of a church in Paramus. And uh, yeah, Carl's an interesting cat. Uh, he passed away in 2007, but uh, needless to say, I'm like, yeah, this looks right. I mean, we're not starting out any stances. It's position and distance and actions faster than reaction and that type of stuff. So um, really, uh, it like hit my common sense and it was so simple. It's ridiculous. So yeah, I started selling videos in 2003 and now we've got like online courseware and we do all the virtual training and stuff like that as well as in-person stuff. So it's cool. And then I, I, get it. I, I uh, it's one of the things I harp on and I've been, you know, I feel like I've got a calling, right? I've got I got a bunch of people that follow me uh, within the gun community, and I try uh -huh. to tell them, you know, your AR-15 isn't going to protect you in every situation. It's not going to it's not going to save you from diabetes. It's not going to fucking <laughs> you, know, it, you know your pistol's not going to help you if somebody runs up behind you and gets you in a chokehold. You know, so you need to do jujitsu. You need to do combatives. You need to do knife blade training and hand to hand and you know and really get a complete skill set become an asset as my buddy Don Rosso says right uh again and it's you know you don't have to go I think the problem is again you know coming from a martial arts background you know is that I think uh everybody gets into this thing is like you've got to be um uh you know like you're training for a title fight too and it's yeah. really you know breaking the predator prey scenario where you know no one gets no one goes into a situation thinking they're gonna hey you know what i'm gonna fuck with that guy because he's gonna kick the shit out of me <laughs> right <laughs> you know it's like everyone goes in and then once you kind of disrupt that predator prey thing um you know people stand there, then you see people back off and back down um granted you know yeah. we you know we train for you know you you prepare for worst case scenario but the reality is even at the bare minimum you know, when you present yourself and you present, you know, different behaviors that don't, you know, display victim, um, you know, that, you know, that goes a long way. And it's that split second. It's that yeah. scale looking at you and being like, ah, let me fucking let me get the next guy. Yeah, I'm a different asshole to fuck with, you know. I'm gonna right. Oh, yeah. And by the way, guys, I'm going to swear. I'm going to try not to, but I can't fucking <laughs> help it. <laughs> you fucking cuss all you want. All, all right. right. Good. You guys ready to, uh, you guys ready to fire it up and get started? Yeah, yeah, so we recording any of that? Yep. All right. You know, I was recording on all of it. All right, we are ready to go. You know what? Yeah, I was recording. I'm recording. We should, we should just leave it. That was gold. How about I do this? Right. Because right. nobody knows who he is. You got to introduce your friends. Fuck them. They got Google. They do that shit. <laughs> Google me, man. <laughs> Welcome oh. to the show. 
everybody. We're not in Las Vegas. Shot show is not going on. So we wanted to have the shit show and bring new products, new vendors, and whatnot to you sitting in your house on your ass when you should really be out training. But either way, you're watching this. Thank you for watching it. Today we've got Damien Ross uh, with the self defense. Uh, what's the name of your company, Damien? Uh, self defense company. Uh, it gets confusing because that's what it says right on the screen. And I'm like, wait a minute. She must have just typed that as like a descriptor for me, you know, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's a defense company. Right. And we're talking about the bodyguard brand. So the, the bulletproof backpack that we have. Right. But, but as we were talking about in the beginning of this, you know, right. you, you know, you've got it, you've got an incredible background in self-defense and training and uh, you know, you, you, you spent some time in a basement of some place where the first rule was not to talk <laughs> about it. Or a basement or a, t or a tool shed. <laughs> but, so how did you get into the body armor business? And tell me about, you know, your, your new product line. It's very interesting. Uh, thanks. To yeah, you know, I mean, I didn't, I got into it because I didn't want to get shot. So, and I wasn't bulletproof. So all the training that we do, um, I said, I started and then 2002 launch a company, but just going briefly backwards uh, after getting out of college, you know, working you know, through college, being uh, wrestled and played football at a little place, uh, Lehigh University over here in the East Coast in Pennsylvania. And uh, I also was taking karate and, you know, like being the karate guy, uh, you know, you all of a sudden get like, hey, you know, we're running security over at, you know, Stabler Arena. So why don't you go? And I'm like, yeah, sure. I mean, but, you know, I knew sparring, I knew wrestling, you know, I wasn't like, you know, I was some security expert, but you get thrust into these things thinking that there's some magical, you know, spell around you that can, you know, all of a sudden can resolve all situations. So that being said, I started getting into that after college. I started doing some still bouncing and doing security work while working a day job. I was a bodyguard at a concealed carry in the state of New Jersey. Um, you know, we did some stuff and then I always, you know, was getting into, you know, always like from what I saw in my real life and what I experienced in my real life, um, the self-defense really wasn't what I was taught. So that brought me into the reality self-defense and the combatives, hence the basement of the church and uh, started getting into this stuff. And then about, it's about 2013, there was an active shooter incident in uh, Garden State Plaza and right over here in Paramus. Mm -hmm. And you know, I started thinking, I'm like, you know, we go to that mall. And I don't know, one of the other things, I am a first responder, I'm also a volunteer firefighter. Uh, so, you know, I'm involved also in that life from that perspective, but we wound up, you know, so I started looking for bulletproof jackets and I started figuring out, you know, I really knew nothing then uh, about body armor other than it's bulletproof and put this on, right? <laughs> so, you know, we get, you know, you get a job, they hand them out, you put them on and then you go about your business. Uh, that being said, I started doing some research and we originally came out with a jacket design. I did partner with a company in Israel that started making the products that we had, you know, that, that we, that we started that, that evolved into what we have today. So doing the jackets and then came up with the backpack concept. Other people were doing something similar things, but we made it a lot easier to deploy. And, you know, I'll do that for you guys in a, in a little bit. And then we, we wound up developing this backpack concept. And then, you know, the last two years we've been perfecting it. And then here we are today. I mean, the re the reality is it's, you know, the jackets were great, but they're not as universal as a backpack backpack. You can take anywhere, you know, you can wear it in all kinds of weather. Um, it doesn't look, you know, suspicious and not, not to use that term, but it, the, the whole thing is not to draw attention to yourself, right? You want to walk it around. Look, you're, you're, you're being low profile. You're not, you're not screaming. Right. Hey, look at me. I'm first right and you know there's a couple other things that were had there were problems with one that you know a lot of the armor products that came out especially the backpacks were specifically level 3a i'm like okay so we got level 3a and that's good for handgun threats but what about rifles because you know when people see i mean these things spike let's face it things spike when people see an active shooter scenario and when it involves you know a fire or a rifle so you know most people go nuts and they buy 3A armor after these events. And you're like, well, that was just a waste of time. 
<laughs> you know, just, you know the threat thing. I'm like, you know, if you ever shot, I mean, we shoot this stuff all the time. So, you know, people get amazed when they see like, well, at least something's better than nothing. No, this is pass fail. So, you know, the armor has got to be made to design that particular threat level. So that being, we wound up developing this, the backpack. And the problem that I ran into is that a lot of guys have their own armor plates already. So we just decided it starts, you can order these things without any armor. So you can use your plates. I think, you know, there's a lot of guys out there who buy the rifle plates, they get the plate carriers and then what? You waited mm-hmm. for the zombie apocalypse, yeah. right? <laughs> you know, so, you know, what do you do with it now that you get it? Exactly. My set's in right here. Exactly. And then listen, when the shit hits the fan, that's great. But what if you're going to the mall, right? right. And then what do you do? So, you know, you know, you, you put this on. And this is our first responder. We just came out with this model. Uh, why don't I just give it a whirl while we're sitting here? I mean, we can see what this thing does. Demonstrate. So, yeah, it's basically looks like a backpack. Let me see if I can stand up. Yep, we can see. Okay. Okay, good. So the way we designed this was all for quick on and off. So so far it works just like a normal backpack. Backpack, right? So the belt we left. It's Velcro, so it goes either right or right over left. Um, yeah, cummerbund, sure. Correct. So most people are going to leave these leave these hanging because most people don't do their belt. But again, we're looking about we're looking at when you're you know when you're under stress, you know SNS activation, you know fight or flight. You can't mess around with buckles. It's just and you can't think. Oh, I got to go right over left or left over right. So it's just here, and then on top, you just grip. And rip it. I don't know what just happened there. But, <laughs> you but got it over. It pops. It pops right over into place. And this has got a. It's got a rifle plate in it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and there's obviously there's one in the back. So you got front and back protection. You know, it's got the molly. You could put. It's got a. You know, space for uh, agency insignia. A- right. Um, do stuff like. You can accessorize it with holsters. So your firearms, everything's ready to go right. and as, you, as you deploy it. So you can actually have the firearm on the carrier in the backpack. And when you deploy it, the pistol's right there in front of you. Right there. And even like things like, you know, the first aid kits. Um, this is just a canister with bear spray in it. So, right. you know, we're, again, we're thinking, you know, if you're, you know, if you're looking, you know, if you're, you're a teacher, you're in an office, you know, depending on how people feel feel about firearms, uh, they um, they uh, you know, whatever you know, you've got options, right? And it's just it's all Molly, and that's it. And it's really again simple. This is important because it it adheres to the adheres to the uh, the plate. There's some models out there that don't have this. You can deploy it without it. But what happens is when you're running and moving. This has a tendency to flop all over the place. So right. do this, it's secure, it's adjustable. You know, I noticed that when you put it on, that, that, that I heard it hooked to the hook and loop, and, and I noticed that it was affixed to your chest. I, I think right. that's actually fairly genius, you know, well, for the kind of this. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I've been called worse. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, and that's it. I mean, it's simple for what it is Uh, it's not complicated it's all hook and loop so even when it's even when it's to put you know even when it's put back in the case again it folds up it's simple it's deployed and it's ready to go so it's you know there's not a lot of moving parts on it uh you know it's got to be it's got to go from concealment to deployment in one gross motor motion and that's it. So, you know, it accepts any 10 by 14 inch plate. Uh, you can get them with, uh, we offer armor, we offer level three and we offer level three A. We use um, uh, polyethylene. Uh, we don't use the aramid fibers. Uh, the reason is because it has a higher weight to strength ratio and the certifications on these things last three more years. So standard, like if you've got a Kevlar vest, 
certifications last five years, these last eight years. Yeah. Um, you know, some people, you know, again, I don't know, you know, who's you know watching this, but you know, it's not like it's the armor is going to all of a sudden degrade at, you know, it's not going to all of a sudden fail at eight years. Sure. And sometimes, sometimes I think that those, you know, those certifications are meant just to make you buy more armor. I you know? wouldn't disagree with that. I, and, you know, sure. and Ethylene degrade. I mean, polyethylene is essentially just trash <laughs> bag hyper compressed together. Right. Uh, you know, and I don't, I don't know how, you know, they say it doesn't degrade in a landfill. How the fuck's it going to degrade? My <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, and you see videos of guys shooting armor that's like 20 years, 30 years old all the time. You yeah. know, again, it's just, you know, that's where it ends. But yeah, people, you know, it's not, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not milk. <laughs> so, so level 3A and a level 3. Level 3, obviously, polyethylene is going to be lightweight. It's going to be, uh, it's probably buoyant so that if you're working around, uh, you know, the water, you know, you're not going to sink to the bottom if you fall in with it on. Um uh, you know, what about a level four solution? Have you guys uh, thought about um, anything? We can provide it. It's, uh, you know, we're not technically in the armor business, even though we sell right. armor. We sell the backpacks. To us, like the armor uh, is kind of, and I don't know how to use the term, it's a commodity, right? It, it's certified. It does what it does. It comes in a specific shape and size. So, you know, that's it. I'm like, if we, you know, we're doing like, you know, worried about green tip and things like that. I mean, we can source armor from anywhere. You right. know, these are, and to be clear, these are NIJ compliant. We do have NIJ certified armor as well. It's just at a higher cost. And, you know, sure. usually for the consumer, you know, that's really, it doesn't, it just means it's been through more testing, but it's the yeah. same product that goes through the same, you know, so factory. Department money, you know, federal money, state money, things like that. A hundred percent eyes to those standards we're all good and we've got a we've got a, one of our vendors i'm gonna leave them nameless right now but uh we've got a we've got an armor vendor right now that's coming out with a level four uh that's only gonna weigh four pounds wow it, okay. it's gonna, gonna destroy the market and so uh, you know when i see something like your innovative backpack and i think holy cow i can put four pound level fours in that you know soon Easy. soon totally uh, Super exciting for me because, unfortunately, all the people coming after me are going to be running green tips. <laughs> right, right, and just and, and true because look at the size of you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> you know, I'm not going at you with a nine millimeter. That's so funny. you know, you know, the nice thing about the those is you know you'll have enough room for snacks and stuff in there because they're lightweight and you got a backpack to put them in. Well, that's exactly right. I like we we the original one we came out with didn't hold shit it held a laptop um and it could hold you know the, you could put the firearm you know in the holster and all the other stuff um but uh yeah beyond that it didn't hold anything so when we redesigned it it's like look you want to put some light equipment in there you want to you want to have an overnight bag yeah you know you want to take with you at least you can you know you can load it up with some stuff and some and if you're you know a first responder if it's in the back of the car you can put some more trauma shit in there and stuff like that so um yeah, you can carry some crap. Yeah. You carry so if you have, so if you have a med kit, let's say in that backpack, and you right. go to deploy it and pull it, that's yeah. uh, it's gonna stay. The med kit's gonna stay in place. There's a, I don't you know, I don't know what it looks like inside that thing. You know, if I've got a bunch of shit in there and I deploy the the armor, okay, and the so shit is in there. Gonna so so there's two uh, sections. One is the um, one is the is the uh, cargo area. Okay. Which is separate and apart, sweatshirt in there, uh, which is separate and apart from the uh, concealment compartment. Oh, uh, so the armor goes in, goes in here, and then it deploys. And I put skittles in the other one. Correct. Yeah. yeah. That Correct. way, when you pull your plate carrier out, your, sit, your skittles, your Twinkies, your dirty underwear yeah, dude, doesn't you fly out in front of you like pocket sand. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you don't want to you don't want to fling your weekend plans all over the uh, all, all over the joint. Yeah, man. I mean, and then you're nice and body armor a dildo flies out. <laughs> Dude, you just read my mind. <laughs> it's like someone I'm getting hit, man. With a with a it's a distraction. Inch, uh, it's a distraction. Destroyer. <laughs> right, right. We can attach it to the plate carrier. <laughs> Jesus, no. <laughs> you know, go, go and place in the holster. I can't think of a yeah. better school to talk about schools. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I love segues, man. Let's no. go. Yeah. Because, you know, school teachers these days are making extra money on OnlyFans, but these school teachers, on before they get the OnlyFans jobs, they really need to protect themselves. And I know one of the things you're big about is uh, school safety, uh, you know, of both the, the students and the and the teachers. You know, can you talk a little bit about that, you know, and how your problem can uh, I mean, work in the school environment? I mean, it's really simple. So if you have one of these in every classroom, let's say, but if there were if there were one in every classroom and there's a fire drill because that's when a lot of the active shooter situations come about the teacher can you know they can put on the backpack and not look like they're going to war they're just putting on a backpack lining the kids up and you know that's it and if there's a problem they could pop it out they have the you know they have the identifier they you know whatever excuse yeah. me whatever kit they want to you know you know adhere to it so that's where that's where it really fits in and you know with when it comes to kids you know and me and body armor and kids i'm really i kind of have a so we all know that body armor is certified for an adult body mm -hmm. right so you know when i you know anyone under the grammar school age you know anyone like i would say teen and above we get the maximum benefits of body armor. I, you know, so, you know, when children, you know, children have it, they can, yeah, it's the benefits are obvious, right? It's easy to deploy. It's not too complex. Uh, so, you know, if, you know, if the kids, you know, wearing this, especially, I would say, you know, obviously high school, college age students, you know, you know, using this technology, using this product, uh, it's obvious. Um, but I also tend to get on my soapbox because when I see a lot of like 3A armor being sold to like grammar school, you know, age children and like children's backpacks, it really fucking pisses me off because if anybody is shot, I've got videos on our site of us shooting, uh, you know, a watermelon that has got 3A protection on it. And you see the size of the hole that goes into that watermelon, oh. you know, that's going to destroy a child. So, you know, while, you know, I, I, I'm in the business of selling backpacks, but I'm in the bit and armor, but I'm in the also ability of educating and getting the right, you know, the right tool for the right job, you know? So, you know, that's where, you know, I, um, I tend to wander. So if you, if you need to reel me in on any, on any Everybody, subject matter. Body, children, but nobody's ever really brought up that point, you know, like, yeah, I guess it's okay that, you know, little Susie's going to have an open casket, but right you know. <laughs> maybe maybe you know yeah. i mean some of the bro some of the shit is like holy crap holding up a panel you know hiding behind a backpack i'm like is anybody is anybody you know you're just <laughs> uh, hiding behind a you know like doing this shit like crouched in the corner and you're like what? i mean the guy's like he's gonna shoot it's gonna shoot more than once, <laughs> and it's gonna, it's gonna. Fr I go, ah, oh, man, I, I can't. You know, people just, and they think like it's, you know, it's bulletproof. It's like Captain America's shield. Right. You know, it's gonna deflect everything. There's not gonna be any blunt force trauma whatsoever. Yeah. You know, and it's like something's better than nothing. What's better is, you know, you, I don't know, you take that money and you donate it to the school so they can put in better security. <laughs> And, you yeah. know, pay a cop to be there. You know, I'm like, you know, so that the teachers can have a, you know, an, an AR pistol, foldy boy in that backpack, and they put the shooter right. down. Something. Uh, you know, people tend to people uh, tend to active well, shooters react differently when people shoot back. You yes. Know? So, yes. you know, I mean, that could be. I could spend. Yeah, man. You know, uh, uh, it's just. You know, I think. You know, in the business that we operate in, it's you know, like people tend to. Um, you know, sheep and sheep dogs, right? You know, the sheep don't want to hear about the violence. They don't want to know how the sausage is made. You know, they just want to know that, okay, guns are bad, so we're not going to have guns. So, but bad people will, drugs are bad, so we're not going to have drugs, right? So, you know, but this, this stuff does exist and evil finds a way. And uh, I don't know, man. I just, you know, it's like, you know, you, you know, you can't wish it away. It's a reality. It's here. So what we do is we provide solutions for the world that we live in and what our reality is. And the reality is that 
bad people do evil shit all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, so, you know, let's not, you know, protecting yourself wearing body armor isn't saying that it's going to happen. It's not bringing it to you. It's like, I got, I got homeowner's insurance. I got car insurance. I got all kinds of insurance. Not, you know, I don't think my house is going to burn down. Yeah. Fact, some days I wish it would, but still, you know, it's like, you know, but you have it. And it's, again, you're training, you know, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. I mean, it's, you know, this backpack should be in every car, every classroom, you know, should, in cars, it should be treated like a, you know, like a fix a flat kit, you know, yeah. it should just, right. or, you know, the day you get jammed up in traffic and there's a shooter on the overpass, you know, what are you going to do? You know, you got to, right. no, you got to get out of the car, get the armor on and, and move to fucking safety and cover, you know, but, right. uh, right. or, he fucking think god damn it's finally here and start engaging <laughs> well yes no <laughs> but yes you know yeah, he, <laughs> but, he was quoted in saying hooray and then he got out and started laying hate it was weird um right. I, I actually wanted to wanted to expand on what uh tj was talking about i'm already looking at it you know i'm i carry uh a chest rig on my back seat in my truck you know it's just crossed yeah with a bunch of shit in there. And I get questions of people riding the back. What is this? Uh, it's right. nothing. It's it's stuff to keep you safe. If, if we get in an accident, something happens. With this, it's my, what? It's my life jacket. Yeah. Right. Uh, with exactly. this, I can throw this backpack and it's got the Velcro. I could Velcro it to the back seat. People right. wouldn't even think, oh, it's just it's just his backpack. And right. I have two of them. Have one for me, yeah. one for the passenger. Hey, shit's gone south. Here's your backpack. Get the fuck out of here. Right. I, again, it's, uh, you know, it's about being prepared and then also not drawing attention to yourself. Yeah. Right. I mean, you know, it's like, look, I don't want anybody in business. I don't want to get in your business. I, you know, I just want to go about my life and, you know, do what I have to do. But, you know, right. I mean, you know, for everyone that has plates, lightweight plates and, and body armor, and if you're, you have it, I'm like, you might as well, you know, get the most out of it, mm-hmm. you know, me- and pack it, take it with you. Sure. Let me- questions i know nothing about your product other than what i've learned about today and i think it's fabulous i have seen similar products on the market so sure. i'm gonna ask questions um is it only available in black you can get it any color you want as long as it's black <laughs> <laughs> right now <laughs> right now um you know this is our first go around with this model and then we'll have more colors to follow to be honest it's like keeping up with the demand the ones that like I have just some stock in now, but it's going out every day and I've got a few hundred more coming in behind it. So even if people go there and they're going to order it, just order it because it's coming. Um, yeah. It's just, you know, it's just, we're just trying to, I mean, between okay. this. Products like this are, two, you know, a month, two months, three months, wait, just about everywhere right now. Body it's, armors. It's hide. crazy. It's crazy. I mean, we're lucky in that we've got a supply chain now that is starting to, you know, keep up in spite of COVID um which is a whole other but yeah, yeah so, you know. so black is the play however i i do recommend make it available in pink and red and blue because you know i'm a big proponent of hey don't look tactical right so the next right. question is uh is this thing have molly all over it or is it just yeah. a black backpack no it's got i don't know if you can see it's got uh molly on the back top it's got some more hook and loop it's got okay. Molly on the play car- uh, the play carrier. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, you want Molly on the play carrier for sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's it. So, you know, I said it's like, you know, we're always like tweaking and improving, um, but yeah, we're trying to figure out what the next color is going to be. Um, yeah. Well, that um, oh shit is probably going to want to sell this, so right. maybe we could work it. Work together to pick a color and make it our exclusive color. <laughs> uh, sold, no problem. All right, so no, uh, we're running out of t- multicam. Black is not low profile. TJ. I know it's your favorite. I know it's your favorite, but it's not low profile. <laughs> you know, we also would like to even. You know, we're exploring uh, coming out with like a, a leather. You know, one in leather, more of a high end kind of executive mm-hmm. model too. Um, I would Louis Vuitton. Done. I was about to say, if that look in the Lambo, bro, that'd be baller. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Let's get some Louis Vuitton pattern. We, we've got to get serious questions in because we're running out of time. Because I'm a oh, cheap okay. man. 
pay for the, you know, we're using a free Zoom account. It gives us, I think, 30 minutes or 45 minutes right. or something. Right. Uh, next question is, how much does this cost without armor? If somebody's already got rifle plates in their carrier sitting in their closet, you know, how much does this cost for them to transfer those rifle plates into the into the backpack, throw it in the trunk of the car, take it, you know, if they're a teacher, mm -hmm. have it at school, you know, how much is a backpack? Yours only today for a very low, low price. Dude, with shipping included, it's 249 bucks. 249, wow, that's pretty good. Thanks, yeah. I wanted everybody to have this. Even if you got level three armor, that's 449. And then with the lightweight plates that they, they come in kits, the level three kit is like 869. So wow. yeah, we really wanted to make this affordable and real to everybody. And so you, you said you said with level three it's a four forty nine, is that what you said? No, level three A. Three A. Okay, three A. Okay. Three A, yes, yeah, yeah. Only a hundred dollars a plate, that's not bad, you know, for for pistol yeah. for Right. And you know, that's, most, and the, level three A vests are three hundred bucks, so that's a that's a steal. Yeah, and the uh, the three A armor comes with uh, little trauma padding on the back too. It's not not crazy amount, but still, it's something other than just the uh, the the uh, the Kevlar. Well, the, this the polyethylene insert. So, yeah. you know, I'm used it's to gonna, it's going to reduce the internal bleeding and bone breakage that you have a little so. bit you know but again you guys awesome. all know with your adrenaline going you know <laughs> it varies yeah, from person not... to varies from person to person <laughs> but yeah. you know it's people like are... right. I hurt until some day right well that's a, that's a, again that's a, the interesting thing like again coming from the combative side is because people um automatically think and with firearms that you know okay i shot you you're dead <laughs> um uh have you seen any video <laughs> you know i'm like dude i'm like we're still fighting and this is still going you know so yeah i mean it's just you know you're surviving you can still you know it's life-saving equipment you're still moving uh you'll still be able to return fire <coughs> plus even with the you know with that with that 10 by 12 inch area people also don't realize is like when you're if you are, you know, a gunfight, you're 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 reducing your silhouette, and you actually collapse behind it. Um, so, like your lower weight, your your you know your lower abdomen, and things like that, that all of a sudden comes into you know comes into get uh, comes into play. So, before we get off here, let, let's uh, what what website? Where can they go to order this? Until we have it at shop.tacticalshit.com for sale, where can they buy it for, directly from you? I'll just go to bulletproofbodyguard.com. Bulletproof bodyguard, all one word, yep. dot com. And that's it. You know, cool. Click on backpacks and you'll see the videos and all that stuff there. You know, give us a call if you got any questions, email us. Me and my boy George will take care of you. And... You work with boy George? No, yes. Yes. He's, you know, yeah. when he's not, when he's not at the uh, Foxwoods uh, Casino, uh, yeah, he's uh, doing customer <laughs> service for us. <laughs> I'll make sure to I'll make sure to get a uh, link down in the uh, in the description section for you too as well. All right, cool. Sweet. All right, All right well, I look forward to product at shop.tacticalshit.com really soon. We'll right. uh, we'll work to uh, something that's a different color. Maybe do a SpongeBob backpack. I've always wanted one of those. Yes. And oh, Dory the Explorer. Good. That's it. Dory. That's, yeah, Dora, that's what I want. Dude, I was just listening to, to uh, you, you ever hear Brian Regan, the comedian? Yeah. Okay, he does a thing. If you look on Door the Explorer, the, the, he does a thing about the On the Map song, which is brilliant. And I don't know why I'm bringing it up now. This is freaking hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the pitch meeting for the song. That's all I'm going to say. Right on. I think that. Uh... Make that something I search as soon as we're uh, as soon as we're off this call. <laughs> yeah. Been a pleasure. I right. uh, look forward to meeting you. Definitely. Someday. If we were actually, we'd be having a drink and smoking a cigar at the Circle Bar, but we can't do that. That's why we're doing these shit show videos. Yes. I've got my smoke. Uh, my wife doesn't. AIC doesn't let me smoke at a house, so that's where I'm headed right now. You like All that right, thing man. up? Man. Later, everybody. Check out. Uh, Check out Damien's company, his awesome backpacks, bulletproofbodyguard.com. Thanks for being part of this shit show. All right. I appreciate you guys having me, man. And uh, stay safe, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Got on. All right.